Let's take a look at what I found at a garage sale this morning for $20 just because I was patient and polite, I would say. I ended up getting to a garage sale that started at 9 at about 8.30. Uh, early birding, obviously, but the earliest bird was one that was there since seven knocking on their door. Seems to be a thing in Connecticut. I don't understand what the motivation is. Like, the level of thirst and desperation in my state by people that, like, not specifically my friends, like, just the others that are casually, like, harassing people before they're even awake just because they put up an ad about video games is kind of ridiculous. It's very consistent. It's it's like super consistent. We, Manny uh, and Unknown Video Game Hunter, we all joke about it all the time. Like it's becoming a problem. So I got to the sale still 30 minutes early, thought I'd be okay, wasn't. I get there and there's a guy from the flea market there that I know that I bought from uh, in the past, and he's kind of giving me the rundown on what just happened, because as I'm walking up, a guy with a big bin with a Guitar Hero 2 controller uh, in the box from, like, the PlayStation 2 generation, I think, uh, is walking away to his car. And the guy from the flea market's just telling me, like, oh, we missed everything, uh, that guy bought it all, he was here since 7, he's giving me the rundown. Now, I'm lingering, kind of, like, looking to see what else they have, and the wife from the sale is, like, kind of laying into the husband about mentioning video games, why do we have people here so early, stuff like that. Uh, the flea market guy asks the husband if he has any more video game stuff, because, you know, you never know if he sold it all, and this guy really didn't sell it all. He just kind of got what was already out and readily available so it might have been good stuff according to the flea market guy he said it was uh game boy colors and pokemon stuff but it was a big tote so who knows the world will never know because that guy was like 60 something years old and probably has no social media and no one knows who he is maybe i'll see it at a flea market in the future and i'll be able to be like hey that must be that but who knows we'll see Anyway, uh, the husband leads the flea market guy down into the basement. This is a really convoluted story, guys. Sorry, this is like the fourth take, third or fourth take. It's the tale of one sale, and I'm just one man who <laughs> hasn't done this in a long time. I could go down into that basement with them, but I didn't ask, and I didn't want to be impolite and also try and step on the flea market guy's shoes. I've done deals with him in the past. He's treated me well. Whatever. While they're gone, I'm asking about other things that they have for sale. They had a bunch of toy stuff, a McFarlane uh, alien statue type thing that the wife was saying was brand new, but it was obviously not brand new. But everything I asked about, the husband needed to be consulted for a price anyway. While I'm doing that, two other guys looking for games show up and they start scouring the sale. Uh, the, the wife tells them also that there's other game stuff that the husband is working on getting, because that's what it sounded like was happening. Well, he eventually brings out some PS2 games and some Xbox and Xbox 360 consoles. Uh, the Xbox was in the box, uh, the original Xbox in the box, Always kind of weird to say. The 360s were probably Red Ring. They were of that generation. And the PS2 games, they kind of... The, the other two guys kind of got to first. And I wasn't looking to, you know, throw elbows at this time in the morning. Uh, best game in there was probably Mortal Kombat Deception for PS2. Not stressing about it. So, the flea market guy and the husband come back up. He's empty-handed. And the flea market guy's telling me what he saw down there. He said, I saw an N64 in the box, uh, a PS2 in the box, a few PS2s in the box that he wanted $50 for. Um, and that was about all he told me. And I was just like, oh, that's interesting. 
hi guy uh can i go see that stuff i might be interested in the n64 at the very least so we go down there and this is where we get to what i actually found and what i was able to buy so down there he had a whole bunch of stuff uh mostly boxes that i'm honestly if the first person at that sale saw this stuff would probably be kicking himself unless like what he got was amazing because i'm i'm ecstatic about these i'm not gonna end up keeping any of them because i have no reason to but i'm just gonna start with the biggest banger i think not the most expensive one but the n64 star wars episode one racer limited edition set now as you can see i am flipping this around in such a way that it is very light. That's because it is empty. Uh, aside from the styrofoam, actually I've never even opened it up. That'd be hilarious if there was something in here and I just didn't know. Uh, it's got the poster, I guess, and some of the inserts, but no game, no system, no controller, no cords, and that's perfectly fine because I paid $5 for it. Now, technically, I could have paid less for it. I'm just going to put that to the side because everything is literally falling out and I can't put it back together on camera easily. All the baggies. And I have more stuff to show you. So, also down there, we had the PlayStation 1. Once again, very empty box. Uh has the styrofoam, wanted it, obviously. PS2 Slim, probably the worst condition box I have here just because the bottom is kind of falling apart and I wouldn't trust actually having anything in there. It's, it's interesting because they, they obviously decided to open this one through the bottom for some reason because the seal is still intact, uh, <laughs> which is interesting. And then the best thing, I guess, uh, probably the most expensive thing, at least the most expensive comped item that I could find, the PlayStation 1 LCD screen. Now, once again, just the box, of course, because they kept the boxes, they got rid of all the stuff. I'm assuming, likely, that in that original bin that the first guy I got, probably had stuff like this. So he probably has a PS1 with the screen attached, which would be really cool to have. I've never had one, uh, but once again, paid $5 each on these. The guy actually asked 15, but he didn't have change for my 20. And I was just like, honestly, dude, we're good. Keep, keep the extra five. You gave me a great deal. And I just feel like, I don't, I don't want to say lucky because I don't feel like luck really had anything to do with this. I was just patient and polite. Which is weird because I feel like in game hunting you don't come across that very often. Uh, and you don't get to do it very often because I feel like in a lot of cases, even with friends, like if you're trying to be polite at the thrift store when games are put out, you're probably going to end up with exactly this, an empty hand. Um, it, it's a very grabby and aggressive thing and it's a, it's also very territorial where it's just like i was here first posturing and you know i don't know it, it's annoying for me because i do this as not just a hobby like most people not just like a side hustle this is like the way i support my family so it, it does get a little personal for me when i try and be the bigger man and it doesn't work out in my favor because it's just like this is just gravy to you this is everything to me so it is a little annoying in that regard now i will say five dollars each on all these amazing deal actual numbers i came up with i'm probably gonna make about 180 dollars profit meaning after uh everything is shipped everything is sold including my cost of goods and shipping and everything and ebay fees uh, i'm not just gonna tell you what it's worth because that's not honestly that relevant. So let me know what your favorite find is. Let me know which box you would keep 
if you were in my position. I was very close to keeping the N64 box, but I have the Smoke N64. It doesn't go with that system, the, uh, the system box there. And just having a plain charcoal N64 at this point is just like, I don't care.